Keep your eye on the ball is one of the first pieces of sporting advice we're all given, which seems pretty sensible when facing an object potentially moving at 100 miles per hour plus. But is it even possible? The average male tennis pro has a serve of around 125 miles per hour. Baseball pitchers are throwing on average a 100 mile per hour fastball, with cricket fast bowlers coming in at a pedestrian 85 miles per hour. But when considering reaction times, speed isn't the only factor. We have to take into account the distance too. If we take tennis and consider the server's height and position on the court, the ball has about 75 feet to travel towards the receiver. Wind resistance, air friction, and the impact of hitting the surface will slow the ball by roughly half by the time it reaches the receiver, meaning the overall journey time of the ball takes an estimated 700 milliseconds. For context, blink twice, that was 700 milliseconds. But consider now that it takes around 500 milliseconds for the brain to process information received from the eyes and 25 milliseconds for the motor cortex to send a message to the arms and legs. It will take a further 150 milliseconds to swing the racket, meaning the receiver has about 25 milliseconds to gauge the flight of the ball and act accordingly. Decent odds if you're a fly, less so for a mere human. Now add to all this that it is extremely unlikely for the ball to be visible to the human eye until the point it crosses the net, which means the receiver really only has around 400 milliseconds to react. The maths just doesn't add up. If you keep your eye on the ball, by the time you swung, it will be past you. For big servers like John Isner or present world record holder Sam Groff, the journey time from the net is reduced to about 300 milliseconds, less than half the time needed to judge and execute the shot. So, watching Groth's delivery to get to it is impossible. You can't be serious, man. And in order to return it, you need to predict where the ball is going. You cannot be serious! Fortunately, your brain is able to do exactly that, with a little practice. While we've all heard that practice makes perfect, this is especially true for elite athletes, where practice isn't just about technique, but about cutting down on thinking time. Eight-time Grand Slam winner Andre Agassi says his game was at its best when he was able to stop thinking and start feeling. Stop thinking. Let things happen. Practice isn't just about improving your own game. It also helps you to understand and exploit your opponents. The brain contains a catchily named action observation network of linked regions, including the cerebellum, which governs motor control, and the superior parietal cortex that assists hand-eye coordination. The Aeon helps us to recognize familiar patterns and anticipate future action, like Ronaldo here, scoring in the dark. The more an athlete prepares and practices, the more effective the Aeon becomes. For example, in a football penalty shootout, even if the striker isn't known at all to the goalkeeper, they can still look for familiar gestures and body shapes in the run-up to help with their prediction. Elite athletes show an enormous capacity for making such predictions, with the best tennis players able to regularly anticipate the trajectory of their opponent's shot even before they make contact with the ball. So how does all of this even work? The eyes help to determine the trajectory of the ball through tiny rapid movements known as saccades. When we look at a picture, our eyes establish multiple fixation points for us to focus on to help us make sense of what we're seeing. When a tennis ball is struck, the brain is able to draw a line from the point of impact to where it thinks the ball is going to be in future, creating an imaginary fixation point. The eyes are able to track the ball along this path and suddenly saccade away to this imaginary point, allowing the player to prepare for the shot before the ball has even arrived. So, with the right amount of training and mental preparation, returning a 125 mile per hour serve is a piece of cake, in theory. <laughs>